Today is Monday, September 30th, 2013, and you're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. On board, uh, interactions with the uh, recently docked Cygnus cargo vehicle continue today with Luca Parmentano and Karen Nyberg continuing to focus on that. Uh, the vehicle uh, built and maintained by Orbital Sciences uh, successfully flew to the International Space Station yesterday, completing its final approach and a number of milestones as it looks to uh, make its first cargo delivery to the station. Uh, it was successfully grappled with the station's robotic arm by Parmitano and Nyberg yesterday morning uh, around, seven, uh, it's around 6 a.m. Central Time and then docked successfully to the uh, Earth-facing side of the Harmony module uh, at 7.44 a.m. Central Time. That cargo craft, which is scheduled to remain attached to the International Space Station until October 22nd, uh, has delivered about 1,300 pounds of cargo to the six-member uh, crew of, of Expedition 37. Among this, uh, various student experiments, food and clothing, uh, all of which will be unloaded by the crew. Uh, that unloading uh, starting with the hatch opening, which took place today. Uh, the crew member opening up uh, the hatches uh, earlier this morning at around 3.10 a.m. Central Time to gain access into Cygnus. Again, attached right now to the Earth-facing side of the Harmony module. Uh, the crew will begin unloading uh, some of that cargo today, uh, having already carried out a number of items, including some of the NanoRack student experiments that have flown to the station on board. They'll be unloading the rest of the cargo uh, over the next three weeks. Again, that vehicle right now is scheduled to remain until October 22nd. Aside from all of this Cygnus work uh, taking place today, uh, Luca Parmitano will also be working to uh, replace a water line vent tube assembly, uh, working inside of the station's Quest airlock uh, on one of the two U.S. spacesuits inside. Uh, that waterline vent tube uh, in the hard upper torso portion of the spacesuit. Uh, he'll be getting a hand in some of that by one of the station's newest residents, Mike Hopkins, who started off his day uh, taking a few samples for the human research facility on board the station. Uh, Hopkins on board less than a week now, uh, still engaging in uh, set-aside time for crew orientation that all these uh, new crew members on board the station are assigned. Uh, to familiarize himself with, uh, with all of the systems and procedures that they'll be uh, interacting with uh, over the six months stay on board the station. Aside from that, he'll also be uh, unloading a bit of cargo from that Cygnus vehicle joining Parmitano and Nyberg. Over on the Russian side of the house, uh, current Expedition 37 Commander Fyodor Yurchikin is working today with the Russian septic experiment located inside of the Russian science glove box. It's a study looking to contribute to uh, all of the developments that go into uh, preparing onboard equipment uh, with a, uh, an aseptic uh, condition, uh, basically free from any microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses and also fungi that can uh, potentially build up in order to uh, better uh, sanitize any biotechnological experiments taking place on board station. It'll also be looking for any uh, trace contaminant uh, levels inside of the Russian service module. Uh, also working uh, the other two uh, Russian cosmonauts on board, uh, focusing on some experiment work. Uh, Oleg Kotov, uh, focusing on the Russian Constanta experiment, which looks to uh, find any possible approaches to protecting the enzyme systems of uh, humans and animals in spaceflight, uh, protecting them from the undesirable effects of that microgravity environment and long-term exposure. As a newer crew member, he'll also be uh, taking some time out for crew orientation and transferring some cargo that came up on that Soyuz TMA-10M uh, vehicle that brought uh, him, Rosansky, and Hopkins to the station uh, just last week on Wednesday. The final crew member, uh, Sergei Rosansky, working on the Russian Cascade experiment, uh, which looks to cultivate cells of microorganisms, humans, and uh, animals in microgravity conditions. Uh, hoping to increase their resistance to uh, some of the negative uh, factors of storing and preparing them in space, uh, such as freezing and drying. Uh, aside from that, also engaged in that orientation time. 